We are now in the final stretch of the 2023 NBA season, and after nearly six months of games, head-to-head -head matchups, and some of the best performances we've ever seen, we still don't have a definitive MVP. Usually by this point in the season, there's a general consensus as to who the most valuable player is. But not this year. Because this season, we are watching the greatest, deepest, and weirdest MVP race we've ever seen. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek. With the NBA season quickly coming to a close, don't miss out on seeing your favorite team live and in person. And SeatGeek is here to get you in on the action. Check this out. Just download the SeatGeek app and use the promo code JIMMY to get $20 off your first order. SeatGeek makes buying tickets easier than ever before with a rating system that lets you know which tickets are a good deal and which tickets are a bad deal. If it's green, that's a banger. You're getting a good deal there. Red? Not so much. I've been using SeatGeek for years. It's simple, it's easy, and it's a surefire way to get the best deal for your tickets. Whether it's a concert, basketball game, football, baseball, festival, SeatGeek's got it all. Download the app, use promo code JIMMY, and get $20 off your first order today. In 2021, the MVP race came down to Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. In 2022, the MVP race narrowed down to Jokic, Embiid, and Giannis. And this season, three players have distanced themselves from the rest of the league, and those players are, once again, Jokic, Embiid, and Giannis. We are now three seasons into this battle of big men supremacy, and the gap between the three of them has only gotten smaller to the point to where we have no idea who should win the coveted award. But it's easy to lose sight of the magnitude of what these guys are doing night to night. Embiid looks like a Shaq Hakeem hybrid right now, and the league has absolutely no answer for it. 30 and 15 is just another day in the office for Giannis, and Jokic continues to make the NBA look like a side hobby. NBA fans are spoiled, so to demonstrate just how dominant these three big men are, here's a list of every single big man in NBA history who finished a season with a PER of 30 or more. And that's it. A mark that's only been accomplished in 18 seasons by big men. And half of those seasons belong to Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. In fact, Giannis is the first player in modern NBA history to average at least 31 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists per game. Embiid is the first player in modern history to average at least 33, 10, and 4 a game. And Jokic is the only player in modern NBA history to average at least 25 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists. We are witnessing three historically significant seasons right now. Well, actually, despite the MVP conversation narrowing down to just these three, we're seeing statistical explosions around the league from players who aren't even getting a mention for the coveted award. To put into perspective just how well you have to be playing this season to really have a chance at the MVP, Jason Tatum is averaging 30 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists a game, and he's fallen out of the MVP discussion. 30, 9, and 5 a game. A stat line so good that LeBron James has never accomplished it. Neither did Michael Jordan, or Kobe, or Durant, or Bird, or Kawhi. In fact, Jason Tatum is the first and only wing in NBA history to achieve this stat line. And yet, he has no shot at winning the MVP, despite his team having the second best record in the league. But at least Tatum is propelling the Celtics to wins. Because Luka Doncic was the favorite to win the MVP coming into the season, but after losing 14 of their last 19 games, his chances of winning the award have completely evaporated, turning what should have been an all-time great season into an utter disaster. Luka is averaging 33 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists a game right now. A stat line that has never been accomplished in the history of the NBA. 
Through points and assists, Luka has generated 47% of the Dallas Mavericks points this season, which makes him easily the most potent offensive weapon in the NBA. A wide gap on even the league's best players. So in terms of value, Luka's is off the charts, but still not nearly enough to earn him the title as the league's most valuable player. In 2017, the regular season race for the MVP was a close one. Looking back, some people even refer to it as one of the greatest MVP races in NBA history. The four players that rose above the rest of the league that season were Westbrook, Harden, Kawhi, and LeBron. And in terms of game-to-game -game impact, these were their game score averages for that season. Westbrook leading the NBA with an average game score of 24.9, with Harden and LeBron just slightly trailing him. But over the last six years, the game has changed. A lot. Because here are the game score leaders from this season. Five players, all topping Westbrook's MVP season. The standard for what we expect from the league's most valuable player has never been higher than it is today. So with the MVP coming down to the wire, how will voters decide who will win the award? Well, on Basketball Reference, there's a page called NBA MVP Award Tracker, which uses a model based on previous voting results to try and predict who will win the MVP in the current season or at least who has the best odds. And at the moment, the top five MVP candidates are James Harden with 3%, Jason Tatum with 3.6%, Giannis with 7.9%, Embiid with 10.6%, and currently sitting at the number one spot is Nikola Jokic with a staggering 66.4% probability of winning the award for the third straight season. But Basketball Reference isn't the only source that has Jokic as the heavy favorite to win the MVP this season. Estimated box plus minus is one of the best all-in-one advanced statistics in basketball. An updated version of the traditional plus minus stat, but with far more factors and variables baked into it. And dating back to 2014, when estimated plus minus was first introduced, the league leader in EPM has gone on to win the MVP six of the last nine seasons. And among all players, the league leaders in estimated plus minus this season are Jokic, Embiid, Lillard, Butler, and Durant. Once again, Jokic having a slight edge over Embiid and a considerable lead above Giannis. But possibly the most revealing metric of all comes from 538 and their Raptor War stat. Introduced to the world in 2019, this predictive model is about as convoluted and elaborate as one can possibly get. I mean, at this point, we're about one step away from a course in advanced mathematics. But to find the purpose of this statistic, look no further than its name. Robust algorithm using player tracking and on-off ratings with wins above replacement. Or a very fancy way of saying we used every metric under the sun to reveal how valuable a player is relative to everyone else. It's complicated, but it's good. And in terms of Raptor war, here are the top 100 most valuable players in the league. Towards the bottom, you have players like Jose Alvarado, TJ McConnell, and Tyrese Maxey with Raptor Wars around three. Climb up the charts and the first player to crack the top 50 is Lou Dort followed by Austin Reeves and Zach Levine all around a score of about five. Keep climbing and you'll find the best players in the entire league. Giannis with a score of 9, SGA with a score of 9.2, Jimmy Butler with 9.3, and Dame, Embiid, and Luka as the only players to crack a double-digit Raptor war with scores of 11, 12.2, and 12.3 respectively. Well, actually, Jokic also has a score in the double digits. In fact, Nikola Jokic has a mark so high, it looks like a typo. So with all the numbers and odds unanimously pointing at Jokic to win this year's MVP, at this point, this should be all wrapped up, but it's not. In the most recent MVP ladder released by the NBA themselves, the number one spot is actually held by Joel Embiid, followed by Jokic in second. Our friends over at DraftKings have Embiid as the favorite at the moment as well, with a sizable lead over both Jokic and Giannis. But this wasn't the case just a couple weeks ago. For what felt like virtually the entire season, Nikola Jokic was leading the charge for this year's regular season MVP. The Nuggets had the best record in the NBA, Jokic's game-changing dominance was as strong as ever, and for the last three months, it felt like his third MVP was all but inevitable. And then it happened. So I didn't know if I wanted to wait to bring this conversation on No Mercy 
or was it appropriate for first take? And damn it, I'm here, so it's appropriate for first take. So let me get let me get us in outside of our comfort zone a little bit when we talk about the MVP conversation. When it comes down to guys winning MVP since 1990, it's only three guys that won the MVP that wasn't top 10 in scoring. Do you know who those three guys were? Who were they? Steve Nash, Jokic, and uh, Dirk Nowinski. What do those guys have in common? I'll let you sit. I'll let it sit there and marinate. You think about it. Should Embiid be the MVP frontrunner? <laughs> okay, well, don't come giving me this stuff about a triple-double. I don't want to hear that. Early in the season, about 30 games, in, 25 to 30 games into the season, he was actually around like, you know, 9.5, 9.8. And then all of a sudden, he started searching for the assists, searching for the assists to get it up above 10. So don't oh come giving me nothing about a triple-double. And don't come up here telling me about oh, what? Oh, oh what? my God. Are you sitting here and saying Nikola Jokic is having his numbers padded? Is that what you're saying? You heard, you heard what the hell I said. Uh, Stephen, I mean, I mean no offense to you, and I mean no offense to First Take, because I think this show is extremely valuable. It is an honor to be on this desk every day. It really is. But what we've just witnessed is the problem with this show, where we create narratives that do not exist in reality. The implication, what you are implying, that the white voters that vote on NBA are racist, that are they, they favor white people. You I just not, said that. I you just yes, not, you did. I yes, did you did. Not, I did. Yes, not, you did. That I is did exactly not, what you implied, Kendrick Perkins. Not, that is exactly not, what you implied. I, I Secondly, not, hold on, did, hold on. I did not call. I stated the facts. I stated the facts. And you're not about to sit up We all know like what you implied the other day. We all know what you implied this time. Hold on. I stated it. It's the facts. 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 In one of the most egregious cases of media bias I've ever seen, Kendrick Perkins goes on national television and completely sabotages Nikola Jokic's potential MVP run with false propaganda. Immediately following these statements, the conversation regarding the most valuable player in the league became diluted with narratives that had nothing to do with basketball. And for the first time all season, the following NBA MVP ladder featured Joel Embiid with the top spot. The sole catalyst leading to this monumental shift on the leaderboard being Perkins' statements. So how does a player start the season leading the MVP race, finish the season playing even better, have every metric in the game in their favor, and still get overtaken in the MVP race? Well, if this entire saga has taught us anything, it's that narratives mean just as much as actual merit in the NBA, which we already knew as fans of the game. But to see it unfold right in front of our faces, to watch an entire season get boiled down to false narratives that skew voter thinking is actually insane. Value is subjective. Some people value two-way dominance and holding down the best record in the NBA. Some people value offensive mastery and an unstoppable skill set. Others value record-breaking efficiency and unshakable consistency. Three generational players, three all-time great seasons, one MVP trophy. The 2023 NBA MVP race is the most difficult, most loaded, and weirdest MVP race we have ever seen.